Well, what can I say? What a game. What an absolutely fantastic game of football. Two informed sides clash and meet each other. Top contenders. And you can tell what, that was a fantastic game of football. Even Nigel Clough has said that that was beyond League 2 standard. Even the ref enjoyed refing it. No yellow cards, the standard, the set of play, the skills on display. Brilliant game. So let's talk more about it. So our first goal, Faz Rawson, legend. So chuffed that he finally got a goal for us. It was out of position. Who knows what he was doing there. It was going against where he should have been, but you know what, it worked. So nobody can complain. He, like I said multiple times in the last vlog, that man is really fighting for his place. He's really fighting for his place. And if he carries on like that, he's gonna be keeping his place. So well done Faz Rawson for that one, mate. Keep it up. Our second goal, once again, down the left-hand side, low cross, wall up into the back of the net from Matty Longstaff. Brilliant, it's great to see him score it again. That's two games on the trot he's scored. Can he make it a third the next game? And also, once again, the one and only, the legend, Nathan Bishop. What a guy. I swear down, I keep going on and on about him, but he is, in my opinion, the difference between us winning in that match and not. Exeter had a lot more strikes on target than us and Bishop made some great saves once again and that double save he made, absolutely fantastic as I notice I say a lot in these vlogs but it was absolutely fantastic. It's such a shame that he let the one in the end though but you know what, we can let him off. He made all those saves and that's the main thing, we beat Exeter. And we haven't beat Exeter at home since 1998, I couldn't believe that, 98, all those years, 24 years. So that's another team, a contender, defeated, has three points for us and it stops them getting three points. That's the main thing and that's what we've got to do with all these promotion contenders is we need to beat them. We don't need to beat them but it helps. It gives us three points, it keeps them from getting three points. And another contender up next is Tramnia. We're on our way to Brenton Park. This stadium holds 16,500. The Stags have been allocated 700 tickets, of which we have completely sold out. And we've been allocated a further 200 tickets, and I'm sure they'll sell out as well. So I'm expecting this to take around 900. Unfortunately, I'm not one of those 900. I couldn't get a ticket, I can't make it anyway, due to reasons beyond my control. But my son and my dad's going, so hopefully he'll be able to capture some decent footage for us, and we'll use it in this vlog. If it's no good, blame him, I'm not there. The same. So, what can we say about Tramia? Last time we played them, we beat them 2-0 at the one call. It was brilliant. It was our first victory in, oh, I forget how many games, I bet it was 14, something like that. That's when we truly started picking our form up. But it didn't start off that way. It was a bit of a terrible start, and everybody thought, oh, oh no, here we go again. When unfortunately Danny Johnson missed that penalty. Oh, I skied it, absolutely skied it. And then they scored, and we thought, no. Um. But it was disallowed, it was offside. Thankfully. Not long after that, Riso scored after 18 minutes and then in the second half after 67 minutes, Danny Johnson made up for his missed penalty by going and putting a tapping in. Now Riso could have absolutely smashed that. He tapped it up, he could have volleyed it, whacked it in, but he wasn't selfish. He was a team player, he saw Danny Johnson was there, it was easy pass back and easy tapping. We beat Tramley 2-0. Can we repeat it this time? I believe we can. So, let's talk form. Masfield currently sitting 6. We've played 32 games, we've won 16, we've drawn 8 and we've lost 8 and we have 56 points. And one below us sits Tramnir in 7th. They've played 35 games, they've won 16, they've drawn 8 and they've lost 11. So they are also on 56 points. We're above them because we've got two more on them on goal difference. Mansfield have 10 and they have 8. But what we've got to keep in mind is Tramnir has played 3 more games than us. So they're 3 games in hand. So. Tramney is going to be a difficult game. It's not going to be a walk in the park. They're another contender. It's important to get a win, to knock points off them, but also to give us the points. So once again, thanks for watching. This is the intro. What's left to say? You know it. Come on, you stags.
Well, you can't win them all. Unfortunately, we didn't win this time. Tromnia were the better team. But let's talk about it. So, first and foremost, the ref's decision, or should I say, the linesman. So since watching it back on iFollow, and I've seen this on the uh, Facebook groups, there is a question, was it offside? Was the second goal, was the third goal offside? Was it, wasn't it? It's up for debate. But one thing we do know, in this league, the referee and the linesman aren't that great. Uh, you win some, you lose some. We've had decisions to go for us in the past. Sometimes they go for us, sometimes they go against us and this time they went against us. But you know, we have to expect that. And what we have to do is we have to play well. I think our defence let us down a little bit this time. We had some spells of some really good play. That first goal, the play beforehand was brilliant, right before off time. Cracking goal from a right tight angle from Longstaff. That was absolutely fantastic. Our second goal as well from the corner, once again, right at the end. 90 plus one minutes. Header in, Hawkins, Wallop, back equalise. The feeling was so great, but it wasn't to be. And then they got their goal. So it's our first defeat in 14 games. So we've got to let that sink in. We're going to lose at some point. And if we're going to lose, at least it's at Tramnia. Because Tramnia is a really strong side at home, just like we are. So let's not make a habit to lose him. We will lose every now and again. Uh, next game is Port Vale. Let's move forward. Fingers crossed Faz Rawson's going to be all right. And Lucas Aikens. We'll see when they're back in the team. But our squad is strong. Uh, John Joe Tools back from suspension. So that's a positive. So we move on, as they say. You can't win them all, unfortunately. So with that, there was not going to be a vlog for Port Vale. But the next vlog will be at Stevenage, playing at home on Saturday. So we hope to see you then. If you're at Stevenage, if you want to come and say hi, come and say hello, give us your score predictions, tell us what you think of the previous games, tell us how you think Mansfield's going on. And with that, everybody, nice one. Thanks very much. We'll see you later.